What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we are back with some more Need for Speed No Limits episode 384 for some more of the daily grind. That's right, more PvPs, more tuner trials, more car series, maybe some campaign replayables, but definitely some car tuning. Let's get into it. First things first, let's go through the, some of the unlock packs that they have. Breakneck Division unlock pack with the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. Very nice car, very quick car, but I'm not going to go for this one, even though it would be a very nice car to have in the garage. We also have the Speedster Division with the Ford Shelby GT500 from 2020. Thing is a drag monster, just like the uh, SRT Demon, but I'm not going to go for this one. Even though it's fairly cheap, it's a really good price. $10, not bad. And apparently that's it. There's nothing for the driver division, probably because I already have everything for the driver division. And of course we have these other packs as well, but I'm not going to go for any of those as well. What we are going to go for is our race skips and the first of five free upgrade crates of the day. Let's crack it open like a soda can. Also, just briefly, I checked my analytics. I've noticed, first off, that 76% of all my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can be updated on whenever I release new content. Uh, also, feel free to join my Patreon, which I will leave a link in the description. So you become a member, help support the channel, and help me to produce better content. Also... I just recently checked my analytics as well, and uh, we finally hit 400 subscribers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 400 subscribers, which is awesome stuff. And I don't know why I bought those when I clearly don't need them, but it's fine. I don't know. I already committed. Uh, I, I committed. I already got it. It's already too late. One thing is not too late, though. We're going to go ahead and grab another carbon. All right. Perfect. Go ahead and grab that. Beautiful. All right. Now we do have some car tuning to do. So let's dive straight in. Main focus for now is the demon. Know what you're thinking? Why spend so much time working on the demon? Why not? Thing is gonna get me some major performance. Might as well work on it. Of course, I still need stuff for the wheels. Which we'll eventually get. Not too much in a rush to get them, but I am trying to get as much as I can. Uh, let's go ahead and do. I can't do that. Let's go ahead and do. I can't do that. Let's go ahead and do this one. So we can literally do one of everything and rebuild it. Probably the first time that I even worked on this Camaro. Actually, this is the first time that I worked on this Camaro. Because I said I wouldn't do it. For a while. But this gives me good reason to do it. Because I'm actually like adding materials here and there to the car just to make it better. Let's try transmission. No. Can we do ECU? Yes, we can. Best thing about it, this is very inexpensive. Like, like this is not costing me hardly anything at all. Uh, what the hell just happened? Oh, damn it. There. I don't know why the hell I did that. 
Sorry, I had to check something on my laptop. All right. So yeah, and then re rebuild that. Beautiful. All right. So that's all the materials for the time being, and the two parts that are being rebuilt, which is good stuff. And we don't have a lot of time, but let's dive into. Next will probably be that one. But that'll be a later time. In the meantime, let's hop out of here and into the tuner trials. Because we don't quite have a lot of time to do you know, the PVPs at the moment. So it is Saturday. That means we have nitro materials that we could race for. Let's go do the epic and the rare actually let's do two epics Full launch, full send. Whoa, bit wide there. All right, that was. Pretty damn quick. It's actually a really good run. And under 30 seconds, so that I will take. That was a good run. Second epic race. All right. Lined up, ready to rock. Here we go. Put that one. There we go. Big air right over the top of that Camaro. And across the line, over 35 seconds, well under 40 seconds though. Drifting, got the two tuner trials, that's good stuff. Alright, beautiful timing. Now, here pretty soon we will be doing Thunderclap, probably a little bit later. A little bit later. A little bit later. 
take a look at something just yeah. briefly. This is going to be a bill that is somewhere in between Verde Beach and Clearwater County, and that Verde Beach is totally been off. Clearwater County of bonds and assets. This one will be lightly modded. There will be quality of life bonds in this bill. Okay. All right, good stuff. So, seven, six, five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Second free upgrade crate. Here we go. Oh, blueprint for our Mustang GT. Very nice. We got scrap points for it. That's very cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into the PvPs. We don't have a lot of time left in the PvPs, but we don't have really hardly anything else to do in the PvPs either. Because, well, we made it to the top of the driver division, and we're already there. And we're not in any other divisions, unfortunately. Taking our quick check in rain check, which is next week's event. We do have basically a full set in the driver division. We, of course, have the maxed out M3 GTR. We also have in the speedster division the maxed out WRX. And, of course, the Challenger SRT8 Snoop Dogg edition, which we still do need to work on. As well as the Viper GTS in the breakneck division, which uh, we can definitely work on as well. Yeah. Taking a look quickly at the tiers and rewards. We get blueprints for the E-Type, which is already maxed out, fully staged up, which will be scrap points at this point. We also have blueprints for the M4 Razor Edition. Basically, a newer version of the M3 GTR. And then we also have... Blueprints for the 296 GTB Ferrari, which we do have in our garage. That would actually be helpful. Which I do need to take a look also into the rival tier, which we get blueprints for the Quenizega 1-1. Which more than likely we won't be reaching because the Viper is fast, but it's not that fast. Speedster Division, we might have a chance. Probably not. But we'll see. Of course, driver division, we already know we're going to kick some tail because we have a maxed out M3 GTR and that thing is stupid fast. So, a week from then is Black Ridge Outskirts, which we have the E-Type Lightweight maxed out. Of course, the also the 99 M3 Coupe, which is also maxed out. And of course, the new car in the DeLorean Alpha 5 for the driver division. In the Speedster Division, we have the Charger Hellcat, uh, which we do have, but of course, we still got to work on. And then the Breakneck Division, we have the 296 GTB Ferrari. Taking a look at the tiers and rewards there, we get blueprints for the Daytona, the Shelby Daytona. We can upgrade that as well. And we also have blueprints for the Range Rover Sport SVR which will help us to upgrade that. And also the Lamborghini Veneno, which we don't have. Also blueprints for the Bugatti Devo, which we also don't have. Uh, but there's a high chance we won't be getting in the rival tier. In fact, a higher chance in Black Ridge Outskirts than in Rain Check that we won't make. And then two weeks from there, we have Sandstorm Showdown, which we have the Shelby Daytona and a maxed out Golf GTI and also the DeLorean Alpha 5 once we get it. Speedster Division, we have the other DeLorean, which is the DMC-12 from the 100s event. Uh, but we do have the Range Rover Sport SVR and the maxed out Mustang GT. But we don't have anything for the Breakneck Division. So looking into the tiers and rewards for that, we get blueprints for the Volkswagen Sirocco R, which I almost have enough blueprints for to obtain. We also get blueprints for the Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale, very nice. And we also get blueprints for the Huracan Evo. And the rival tier, blueprints for the Ascenza SCV12, which I do have.
but we won't be able to even get close to it because we don't have cars in the breakneck division. Unfortunate. But what is fortunate is the fact that we can go ahead and do some racing regardless if we are top of the division or not. We have an anonymous driver in their BRZ. This should be a formality at this point. Ooh, clean looking BRZ though. Rocket Bunny kit looks very nice. I like the wheels. Wheels look very good. All in all, really solid looking car. I think I'll give that an 8.3 out of 10. That looks very nice. But unfortunately, my start wasn't nice. Let's see if we can beat them without nitrous. He's pulling away quite quickly. That start was very slow. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm going to have to stop messing around. I really got to use my nitrous now. In fact, I might not win this now. Yeah, I let him get too far ahead. Yeah, I, I I messed around too much. I like I could have easily beaten him if I had just not messed around and yeah, that was that was entirely on me. I shouldn't have messed around. Nah, I I basically gave him that one. Plus, that launch was absolute trash. But it was mostly due to me just messing about. Can't believe I actually lost to a BRZ like that. That I, I'm honestly ashamed of that. Let's see if we can make that up by beating this Ferrari <laughs> at least. Try to redeem myself some. Cause that was very embarrassing. All right, got the perfect launch. Beautiful launch from the both of us. Neck and neck to start things off. Come on, go a little bit out. Catch the nitro strip. Catch the nitro strip. Get past the car. Catch the nitro strip. And a lost nos. Uh, because I hit the wall too many times and wasn't able to maintain a slide. Oh boy. Whoa! What was that? Why did my car do that? That was... That was... What? Why did my car do that? That was... Okay. I don't even know how to... That literally just does not compute. I don't even know how the hell I managed to do that. And it sucks because it caused me to lose, so... Okay. All right, the, we're off to a terrible start this in this episode for the PVPs. Two straight losses. No, I'm not. I'm not taking that. I'm not accepting that. We're gonna kick some tail now. Okay, we got the perfect launch this time. Didn't do what we did in the first race and completely screw up the launch. And the best part about it now... Alright. This time we was able to hold on to the NOS there. I did lose nitrous there. I'm far enough ahead to where it won't make. That's the second time it did that. That's twice. Like, why did my car do that? I have no idea, but he's gaining. He's gaining. 
Ooh, that was way too close. I almost lost that one. Yeah, that was way too close. Like, it got very sloppy at the end. Yeah, that was not supposed to happen. I don't know what caused that. The German. Oh, actually a good looking uh, Civic. Pretty basic on the body kit, but the wrap looks pretty damn good. I dig it. You know, 7.2 out of 10. Oh lord, here we go. Alright, let's not play around here. And a hit wall. Come on, catch the NOS. Okay. I made a couple mistakes. Yeah, that cost me the race. Okay. Unless unless he makes big mistakes. Oh wait. I mean, he's making mistakes. Can I capitalize? I'm gaining on him. I'm gaining on him right at the end. Let's go. Wow, we have matching performance ratings. Okay. That entire race, I was just... Oh, boy, man. That was too close. Too close. All right, going against Jordy and their BRZ. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves against the BRZ here. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Body kit is basic, but it looks good. It looks clean. It looks like... I don't like the exhaust, but it looks like someone's actual car. Seven point... Eh, 7.4 out of 10. All right, come on. Let's see what you got. Oh, he hit traffic. That's what it looked like. A my screen. Oh boy. That was way too close. Alright, come on. Okay. Looks like he either hit a wall or hit traffic. One of the two. And I think this is it. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, I made too many mistakes. It literally killed my run, and I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I should have won that. All right, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's move on. Let's grab our third free upgrade crate of the day. That was very disappointing. Did, did you get laggy all of a sudden? Yeah, it got very laggy for some reason. All right, let's just keep it rolling. All right. All right. So let's dive in to the campaign. Let's do some replayables. Do some replayables before we end off the episode. Let's go over to Mary. See if we can get more blueprints for the Falcon.
Here we go. Lined up, ready to rip. Ooh, didn't get the perfect launch, but that's fine. Let's keep it rolling. Cross the line. All right, let's go to the right. You know what? Screw it. Only because we had like literally a two out of three chance of getting a blueprint so I'm like okay because we missed out on it might as well go for it because we're gonna get it back anyways There's a launch. Good hard launch. Just barely, oh god, it lagged. It's lagging. Cross the line. All right. Actually, pretty quick, pretty quick run there. Let's go to the middle this time. Got an alloy, very nice. It's getting laggy again. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. That's probably the reason why I keep switching between Wi Fi and uh, mobile data. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of it at all. Lined up, ready to rock. Here we go. Didn't get the perfect launch, but that's okay. Cross the line. All right, let's go to the middle again. Alloy, of course, of course. It is what it is, though. I ain't upset about it. 30 seconds of hang time. Good stuff. Let's go over to Powerhouse. Actually, no. Let's go over to the Royals. Go back over to Edge. Continue our fight against him. Continue to see about getting blueprints for that 650s. See about getting a brand new car.
we already got roughly about 35% of all the cars in the game so far. And I'm just doing sort of like a rough, rough guesstimate. Beautiful launch. Smoked them like barbecue brisket. Whew, that was a little too close. Oh boy. Lost a ton of speed on that corner. Under 30 seconds, that was good. And six near misses, beautiful stuff. Go to the left. Connector, okay. All right, 10 near misses, nine assignments complete, good stuff. go mm, some more lag whoa uh okay that wasn't supposed to happen Uh, yeah, so basically my car took flight and just wouldn't come back down. Let's go to the middle. Another connector. Alright, that is five race wins in the campaign oh boy it's getting laggy again Here we go, lined up, ready to roll. Three, two, one, send it. That was poorly timed. There we go, that's the speed. All right, to the left. Seriously? Now I gotta do it again. And at that point, that was like literally guaranteeing myself, or what you call it. All right, let's grab our fourth free upgrade crate of the day. A 
lubricant. Never go wrong with that. All right. And I think, honestly, that's where we should end it off. Yep. Yeah, that's where I call it. So, that will wrap it up for this episode of Need for Speed No Limits. Tune in next time for episode 385. For some more of the daily grind, like and subscribe for more content. Also, for motorsports and gaming content, I will leave links to different channels in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. Much love, much appreciation. Also, f sign up for my Patreon, become a member, so you can help support the channel and help me to release better content. It's your boy, Warner Brother, with the Toretto Charger, and I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>